little Kelly here. And today I just thought I'd do a quick Christmas haul as well as just a regular pet haul or pet supplies haul. So first thing that I got, and it's already open because I just gave um, one to my hamster, is these Temptations chicken flavored um, treats. These are cat treats, but um, I use them for my hamster because um, it's a great way for my hamster to get the protein that she needs. Um, so um, this is what the bag looks like, and it's by Whiskas. And then here in the back, it just, you guys can go ahead and read if you want. And then here it says the ingredients as well as the guaranteed analysis. So um, this is just one of the ways that I do give my hamster the protein she needs. Um, I also do like to give her um, hard boiled eggs and um, omelets as well. Um, just so that she has um, more protein in her diet. Because uh, the bag of food that she currently is on doesn't give her the necessary protein that she needs. Um, so the next couple things that I picked up were these two cute little stockings. Um, I picked one up for each of the boys. And I need to go back and pick up a third one for Mango, of course. But they only had two available, so I just picked them up. Um, the next thing I picked up was another ceramic bowl that says ho 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 merry christmas um in my previous video you guys saw that i had a christmas tree ceramic bowl and i mentioned i did have a ornament as well but i was in the store today and i just so happened to have one of these bowls so i thought i'd pick one up before anyone else would take them uh the next thing i bought was in the dollar section of a dollar store that I went to and it was this cute little penguin um I thought this was really cute um I don't remember how much this cost I'm pretty sure it was 99 cents um but I can't remember but I also picked up this Christmas mug as well that I would be I will be using in the hamster's cage um possibly that is if she likes it um she isn't very fond of um sleeping in mugs but sometimes she will um use the mugs to hide her treats in so the next thing that i picked up from the store was also um two gift packet gift boxes um my hamster actually does love sleeping in boxes right now she still has her halloween box um in her cage so it has a cute little um snowman on it and the other box has santa so i will be using uh one of these boxes in her christmas cage tour the next thing that i picked up were and those are the boys squeaking thinking they're getting uh, a treat but um, I have here Christmas gel clings to decorate my hamster's cage with. Um, these are each a dollar. So I just picked up four because I couldn't choose between the ones that they had. So I just had to pick one of each. So this one has a Christmas tree and uh, two presents and a star. Um, the next one has cute little snowflakes. The other one has a snowman and whichever ones that I don't use on her cage I will just put on my window and then last is a Santa with more presents so I thought these were really cute and I also bought Christmas lights um, I like to string up lights outside of the boys cage so I thought these were really nice um, right now, the uh, Christmas lights are super treat since it's not Christmas yet. So I thought this would be great. A great time to go ahead and pick some up. I also bought a case from uh, the dollar store. It's just Christmas cards. And I like making um, garlands out of these cards. 
and uh, I like using the cards too as well. It's just for little decorations that I don't mind putting in the boy's cage and stuff because they don't typically chew on the cards and even if they did have a little bit of a nibble um, the cards would be just out of their reach. So there you have a penguin, a snowman, and two Santa um, cards. So I thought these were really nice. And these were about a dollar something. A dollar, two dollars. And they come with 20 cards. And also 20 envelopes. Just in case I want to use them for Christmas cards. I bought um, a Febreze set and refresh. Um, just uh, instead of having uh, an air purifier that, um, you know goes off every few minutes and sprays the actual um for breeze in the air i like to use this because it's sa much safer to use than actually spraying it in the air plus i keep this right next to my window and my window is typically always open and i also have a air purifier in the room because i do have um allergies so this helps with uh, the boys' scent because they do tend to be musky sometimes, but they're not too bad. So this just helps me out a little bit. The next thing that I got was this really nice mini curling decut garland. Um, I like this because I was going to get like typical Christmas colors, but I really like this because it had just a bunch of like nice and vibrant uh, colors and this is kind of Christmassy because it reminds me of like you know a Christmas tree with a bunch of different lights on it and this was a dollar ninety nine so I thought this would be another great thing to string around the boys cage along with the Christmas lights and the last thing I got because I couldn't resist and I will be putting this on my hamster's cage now are these gel clings. Um, they have cute little owls and acorns on it and since it still is November I thought this would be perfect for this November um, theme before I go straight into decorating everyone's cages for Christmas. So I thought this would be a cute nice little thing to put on and I will be decorating um, the boys cages and the hamsters cages for uh, November I just really haven't gotten the chance to do so yet and so I thought this would be a great way just to kind of get some uh, you know fall themes out of the way and plus I can use these owls for any other season as well it just doesn't it doesn't just have to be um, you know November so I thought this would be great so that's it for my haul video um, I did get quite a bit of stuff, um, this time around, but it's really cheap to go ahead and buy stuff right now, and the boys are just jumping around and being antsy because they're waiting on their hay, and I have yet to give it to them for tonight since I just got home, so there's Cloud if you can see it, and Baxter is in the corner, Tearing up at some fleas, being naughty. Baxter! Yeah, he probably won't come. He's preoccupied, and this is his way of getting back at me for not getting his pay on time. So, really quick. Um, it is lit. Oh, there they are. They saw me moving, so they know that they're, they're about to get their hay. So, really quick, I believe my hamster is awake so I'll go ahead and show you guys her. So here goes my hamster's uh, bin cage. It is well over the minimum. I believe it is or just meets the minimum. I believe it's a 110 quart bin. Um, so I'll go ahead and might as well give you guys a little cage tour. So over here she has her sand dish because I like to scatter her food all around just because it gives her something to do. Um, she also likes putting her food in there. She doesn't typically use it as a potty because she is just a cheeky little girl and does whatever she wants. 
I know mango. So it's um it's a star shaped and it looks like she kicked all the sand out and it's just everywhere all over. It's like in my nails right now, so it's kinda gross. Um so here is the remains of a I believe it was an all living things, just a tunnel. It was wrapped in red and blue and she just completely stripped it bare. But I kept it in there because she does like giving it a chew and she likes burying it and running through. Here I have a wood block. Um, I think it's an All Living Things brand too. She stripped the bark from one side and has yet to do so to the other one. But she does give it a, a quick nibble here and there. She has a toilet paper tube in, in here. As well as a red and yellow jingly ball. She has a pink and white tube and then there is her 8 inch wheel um, she is a pretty small hamster compared to the other ones I have and she has no trouble whatsoever running in the wheel so I keep it in there for her and I tried giving her a larger one but she wouldn't use it so I just decided just to keep that one um, here is a apple uh, wood stick here, um, she just finished her last one, so I put in a new one for her. Here is her water bottle, and in the back, she has a Happy Halloween, or Trick or Treat box from Halloween, and that's where she likes to sleep, and she has a small little fleece blanket, because sometimes it does get cold in my room, so she likes wrapping herself inside and sleeping. So, here is her cage. Um, typically, you don't see any food scattered around her cage because as soon as I dump it, she'll grab it and pouch it and then carry it all the way to her nest. So, she is. She really wants to come out. So, here is my little mango. So, she's. I have pretty small hands and she fits right in my hands. So. That's how you can tell she's a pretty small hamster. Um, so yeah, she absolutely loves attention and loves being out with me and cuddling. And we'll sit down and watch TV together. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, hopefully I will be posting another video soon. Um, as for what the topic will be, I have no idea. So... Um, you guys can go ahead and leave um, suggestions if you want, or I'll just think of something randomly to talk about. So, thank you guys so much for watching it again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>